Hey everyone in the Caribbean area, how are you guys doing today? I'm Ron Peterson and I'm here to talk to you about the food insecurity going on in this area. So Latin America and the Caribbean is the world's first region to both international and hunger goals. With the percentage of undernourishment falling to 5.5% and the total number to 34.3 million, the LAC achieved the goal of the Millennium Development Goals and the World Food Summit. In 2015, Latin America and the Caribbean, Caribbean has taken a huge step towards the total eradication of hunger by reducing both the percentage and the total number of undernourished people to less than half, says the FAO's latest report. The panorama, the panorama of the food insecurity in Latin America and the Caribbean in 2015. According to the report in 1990, Latin America and the Caribbean began the challenge of the Millennium Development Goals with 14.7% of its population affecting the, affected by hunger. In 2014, this prevalence has fallen to 5.5%, so that region achieved the hunger goal of the MDGs. The region also met the goal of the World Food Summit, having reduced the total number of undernourished people to 34.3 million people. The region's success story is based on the positive micro macroeconomic situation during the past two decades, and the solid and continued political commitment of the countries of Latin America and the Caribbean with the eradic eradication of hunger, said Raul Benitez, FAO's regional representative. The FAO report notes that regional progress is mainly due to the success of the southern cone countries, but the commitment to hunger can be seen throughout the region. 17 countries achieved the hunger goal of the MDGs more than in any other region on the planet, and 11 reaches the WFS target. Benitez said that thanks to economic growth, increased public spending on social matters and public policies focused on the most vulnerable, Latin American and the Caribbean today represents a smaller share of the global hunger. Latin America and the Caribbean up, up, up the EMT by not diminishing but fully eradicating hunger. According to the FAO publication, the region pioneered a proposal to not only decrease but also fully eradicate hunger through the Hunger Free Latin America and Caribbean in Initiative, which has been endorsed by all the countries in the region since 2005. Many agreements and alliances have been formed to work towards the goals such as Hunger Free Mesoamerica and the Hunger and the Hugo Chavez Hunger and Poverty Eradication Plan in the countries of the Bolivarian Alliance for the Peoples of Our America and Pedro Career, as well as its outstanding national projects and policies such as Zero Poverty in Brazil and Mexico Without Hunger Crusade. The culmination of this process of political commitment over the past two decades was the adoption by the community of Latin America and Caribbean states. The main regional integration body of its plan for food security, nutrition, and hunger eradication into January of 2015. This plan seeks to promote and boost regional efforts that has set to, been set to 2025 as the deadline for regional hunger eradication. The CELAC plan represents a one-of-a-kind commitment and can be one of the factors that may lead to the current generation to be the last to live with hunger, said Benitez. Benitez said. There is a large... The Panorama Reports notes that the approach in the fight against hunger has changed from a sectorial look to a cross-sectorial approach. This allowed countries to meet the needs of their populations both in the short and medium term. Just for addressing the various causes of hunger with the participation of all stakeholders. There is a large difference between these subregions. Although the region as a whole has been the first in the world to achieve both goals hunger, progress has been different in each subregion and at each country level. South America is the subregion that made the most progress both in reducing the number of undernourished and its prevalence. However, it should be noted that the largest number of undernourished people live in the subregion whose population amounts to 65.9% of the regional total. Central America has succeeded in reducing hunger from 12.6 million in 1990 to 11.4 million in 2014, a reduction from 10.7 to 6.6% of the population in the same time period. However, it is important to note that hunger reduction at absolute 
terms has stagnated since 2013. The Caribbean is the region which has made the least progress currently. 7.5 million people suffer undernourishment in the subregion. Little progress since 1990 when hunger affected 8.1 million people. The prevalence of undernourishment fell only 7.2 percentage points from 27% in 1990 to 19.8% in 2014. This is due to a large part to the situation of Haiti, the country accounts for 75% of the undernourished population of the Caribbean and faces the most critical situation in all Latin America and in the Caribbean. I hope that I hope everyone in the Caribbean region is having a good day today and I hope this information about food security can help you out in the future. Thank you.